Hello, I'm Ron Barber. In the next few days, we're going to be releasing an interview with Dr. Andrew Dennis, a nationally prominent trauma surgeon who also happens to be an ex-cop. Andrew has some vitally important information regarding police, policing, pandemics, officer training, response, and safety I'm sure you will find most interesting. Here's a preview. First and foremost is prevention, right? I mean, all of this is based around prevention as best as you can. So when you start, so any encounter with the public, you should be in, in, in protective equipment. So you should have a mask on, you should have eye protection. Um, and when I talk about eye protection, just to be really clear, I'm not talking about glasses and I'm not talking about shooting glasses because those allow gaps around the eyes and they do not protect you from droplets. A little protection is better than nothing, obviously, but that's not the recommended. The recommended is some sort of face shield that covers your entire face or wraparound goggles that make contact with your face. Now, I get it. Most people are not going to have those. So we do. We, I will accept something better than nothing. So shooting glasses are certainly um, a, a suboptimal but acceptable alternative until you can get the right PPE. Um, with regards to fighting with people that want to do you harm, that, are, that say that they are positive or they're going to try to cough on you, the more protection you have, the better. Granted, if you're fighting with them, you may not have that option. Um, but... Uh, that's where we kind of, where we started now triggering those individuals as likely exposures. The other thing that we offer that we put in with all our troops, uh, is procedural surgical masks. So, you know, like the paper, the, the surgery masks that with the, that go around the back of the ears. If you take someone into custody, that mask goes on them. If you do a citizen assist and you offer someone a ride in your car, that mask goes on them. What most of us did not, even as police officers, address in that reconciling of I may not come home or my life is at risk is putting our families' lives at risk. So I think the biggest elephant in the room that we as law enforcement need to work around and have a discussion is uh, with our family is that um, we are putting our families at risk and we need to find ways to mitigate that as much as possible because the moment you have an encounter with someone that is positive or possibly positive, you run the risk of bringing that virus into your home and to your family and your children and your wife, et cetera, or partner. So what I'm saying is that the measures that we take on the street move into our homes and we need to take those seriously. I get home every day. I disrobe in the garage. I leave clothes there. I put my, I bag my clothes that were at work um, and I take them right up to the laundry room, throw them directly in the laundry and wash them time zero. Um, my shoes stay out in the garage. Uh, I wash my hands the moment I walk in the house. I wash my hands the moment I walk in my car. I wipe down my car before and after I get in it. But creating a routine to sanitize your house and proof your house based on the fact that you're coming back from an open environment is absolutely critical. Take care of each other. See something, say something, police each other. This PPE, first of all, this will pass. I promise you at some point in time, this will all pass. Uh, the greatest ray of hope that I've seen from all of this is that uh, it has really restored my faith in humanity in a whole lot of ways. I've seen people stepping up and, and providing help and assistance to others where in months past, they probably would have walked past them. So it is the empathy and the sympathy and the, the mere improvement in the way we handle and treat each other has been quite remarkable and should be a restorative degree of hope, I think, for everybody. Keep an eye out for this free one-hour program coming your way soon from In the Line of Duty.